Salut, je m'appelle Maxime et je voudrais te montrer. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. It's uh, always interesting, but sometimes it happens that you start to feel the world differently. It seems that you have achieved everything you wanted, right? You feel like a winner in life, but then you realize how small you are on the scale of the universe. And all your dreams and hopes will collapse in one brief moment. It was as if cold water was poured over me. As it turns out, it's important and necessary to feel the perspective of the past. Appreciate every moment of your life, feel it and look back. But it's scary to look in the past. It's scary to know that you haven't budged in all the time. Yes, I'm changing externally, but where are all my achievements? I feel that I've created at least an illusion of my own happiness and development. But in fact, I'm stuck in this spot. People around me, my friends from the university, former classmates, live in a career or family, uh, live a great purpose, but I'm stuck in place, not realizing how time flies. I figured out that all the years I was going with the flow. Everything is fleeting, and you need to value your time and move forward. The soul is the main shelter, and the power is shelter. Minecraft is a 3D sandbox game, but have no specific goals to accomplish. Offering the players a large freedom in choosing of how to play the game. Uh, here you can do whatever you want. In addition, I recently bought a cool video adapter in VR RTX 2070 for my personal computer with ray tracing support technology. Right? It cost me more than 300 bucks. But overall, the price is pretty reasonable. By the way, I've recently read a scientific article about nutrition, right? Just imagine that food is not needed for you, Medusa, and the body can actually receive energy from the sun. Completely shit, I thought. But with the local price for this video card in Russia and its rays of light, it looks like I will have to read this article one more time. So, Minecraft is now more than just a game. It's a new reality. Yeah, it's beautiful here, as if I were visiting my grandmother in the village. Uh, also, all sorts of cows are walking and some shit, you know. I would say that it's just like at home, right? The most interesting thing is that at the moment RTX works fine only in Minecraft, as if someone decided that he wants all the money from 9 year olds, right? Also nowadays children play strange Fortnite type shooters, so you still need to think about who was deceived here. Yeah. Well, what can I say about this retracing thing? Digging in the mine has become really fun. Not that I didn't dig there before, but now it's slightly better. I played with these cool shaders and realized that something was clearly missing here. Despite the visual style of the game, I wanted to remove these cubes. Before we move on to our game, I suggest to eat something. And if you don't have something to eat, here's our most ingenious chief section special for you. Welcome to the most ingenious chef section. Today you will have a chance to learn the culinary arts of the highest echelon. We will cook Lenishi Brot de Miasa pasta with holy cow sauce. For this, we need a pack of pasta of the highest standard. It is recommended not to take the cheap one. For example, I took my pasta for 54 rubles, yeah. Next, set the water to boil. and add it to your high-class pasta. Great! Now we can make the sauce. To do this, mix mayonnaise and ketchup. Add Georgian spices. Now we pour out the water and add the butter and our sauce. Add the pre-fried meat to the boil. Wow! 
How wonderful it is! Impressive! I am sure it is! Okay, I wanted to build a new world for myself, the world of victorious communism with gulags, huge rabbits, low wages, hunger, instability, and a 10 year queue for a new apartment, you know, and for this apartment you will have to work for another 40 years. Yeah, sorry, sorry, something got me wrong. I mean a world that would be free from cruelty, violence, and all the shit, I think you understand me, right? So I decided not to stop there. The desire to build a world similar to my own made me move on. I decided to take a deep breath and dive. Into the depths of internet resources in search of modifications and something like that. Uh, and I can install mods. Uh, you can ask me, yo Max, how do you do this? It's so difficult. Everyone is eating. Like, I got a degree in a university of Minecraft. It's located somewhere in the United States, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so uh, what am I actually talking about? I passed the intelligence test, also called the IQ test. As you can see, my IQ is 154 points. In the scale, the more points you have, the more big brain you are, right? Well, this is for those who are not familiar with this type of testing. So this means that I'm smarter than Albert Einstein. I'm somewhere here, right? Well, it's understandable because I know at least three languages, but how much did Einstein knew? No one knows. And I did not find any information about it even in the KGB archives. Now I think you have no doubts that I can install any modification on a computer Java version of Minecraft. Java version of Minecraft has a large number of modifications, including modifications that allow you to transform the game towards realism. There is even drugs, mods, and here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is already a deep dark Minecraft. More about it some other time, I guess. After all day spent, I found everything that will help me build a perfect world. I looked at almost all English, French, and Russian sources for Minecraft, and I found what I was looking for. It took me four months to find all the modifications. It was not so easy. I've uh, waited for flash drives by Pigeon Mail, and some mods were downloaded from the Kremlin's official private service. And I really did it all by myself. I haven't made a video for 4 months and it's not because I'm lazy ass and did nothing, right? But because I tried to get a converter that can transfer the real world to Minecraft, yeah. Finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? I feel like Minecraft has started to consume my mind. After 15 minutes, I have lost touch with reality. I started to survive as our ancestors did back in the days. I built a house, planted a tree, and everything was fine until one moment. After losing my home, I decided to download the mod that I talked about at the beginning, because I already had nothing to lose. It was really fun at first. What do you think, Danny? I agree with you, buddy. Wow, not a bad feel for the Thomas engine. But it couldn't last long, because it just wants to destroy you. Destroy in a bit of aphoria.
So I realized that escape from reality isn't for me and I would rather hang out and enjoy the safe parts of our world. To the end, I stunned a lot. We cannot create a completely sterile and safe world. We need to learn to live with it, right? And honestly, no, not everything is so bad that I need to change it. Well, it's time to say goodbye. All materials I used are in the description. But you should only use them if your head looks like a cube and something like that, because who else needs it besides me, right? I think you will not argue that this is the most useful video on my channel, so please like this video. Well, I should go develop myself and try to build a normal life. After all, wildness is undoubtedly the devil's plaything. I'm going to drink beer. Cheers. Warning. Uh, energy detonation detected in materials laboratory. Warning. Anomalous energy field detected in administration center.